Hello everybody and welcome to the Royal Armouries Home Learning Hub. My name is Chloe and today I am going to be telling you a story. Now this is a wonderful story about a famous knight called Sir George. Have you heard of him? Thought you might have done. Now there's lots and lots of different stories about Sir George but I'm going to tell you my favourite one. Sir George and the castle. But first, I need to tell you guys something. Unfortunately, I'm a bit of a forgetful storyteller. Oh! Which means that I always need the help of more storytellers. And these storytellers aren't your normal storytellers. They are story detectives. Now, do you think you guys could be story detectives for me? You do! brilliant well you're gonna to have to figure out the bits of the story that I have forgotten so I hope you're up for the task but first of all let's make sure you've got your detective hats on put on your detective hat put it at a jaunty angle and we need to begin our story now all stories start with a special sentence see I told you I was forgetful it's a famous sentence, lots of stories start with it, lots of fairy tales as well. Do you know what it is? See, I knew you were the right people to ask, you're absolutely right. Once upon a time. Now, um, I think if we all say it together, the story will start, but um, let's make sure you're in a nice comfy spot first. And um, sit up straight, take a deep breath, And if we all say it all together after three, our story will begin. One, two, three, once upon a time. There was a beautiful kingdom filled with fields of lush green pastures and meadows of sweet smelling yellow flowers. Come on, give those flowers a good sniff. Don't they smell lovely? Oh, beautiful. And through the kingdom ran a sparkling river that came all the way from the top of the dark purple mountains through the kingdom and then finished at the glittering ocean beyond. Now in the kingdom there was a village and in the village lived some people and the people also had some animals. Now in the kingdom there did live two other people. Now they're the most important people in the land and I've forgotten what they're called. Oh detectives, I need your help. They wear crowns and they tell people what to do. It's not your grown-ups, no. Brilliant detective work, absolutely. It's the king and queen. Well done. Now the king Queen do live in the kingdom. However, they were not there. They had gone on their holidays. Lucky king and queen. But whilst they were gone, they needed their very special friend to come and look after the kingdom to make sure all stayed well. Do you think you know who it might be? I think you do. He's a knight and he wears armour. Oh, I think you do know his name. Let's say his name all together after three. One, two, three. Sir... George. Now, we need to say hello to Sir George, but um, he's a bit shy and he's not a very brave knight. So we need to make sure he feels safe to come out and say hello to us. So um, we need to say hello very poshly. To do that, we need to uh, sit up straight, put your nose in the air, and uh, we need to do a very posh wave like this. Can you do that? And uh, we need to say hello very poshly by saying, How do you do, Sir George? Do you think we could try that together? After three. One, two, three. How do you do, Sir George? Oh, Sir George. It's very nice to see you again, Sir George. And your armour looks smashing. Is it vintage? Well, while Sir George was staying in the kingdom, the king and queen were very generous and said that Sir George could stay in their home. Now, a king and queen doesn't have 
a home like the villagers. It's not a cottage. Oh, story detectives, I'm gonna need you again. What is the name of the place where a king and queen live? Oh, yes, I think you're right. Let's shout it out all together. After three, one, two, three, a castle. Brilliant work, guys. Five star rating for all of you. Um, but what does the castle look like? Oh, detectives, I'm gonna need even more help from you. Do you think that you could draw the castle for me? And uh, label all the different bits of the castle? And uh, what colour is it? And what does it smell like? And tell you what, send me in your drawings and descriptions of your castles and that will help us to get to the next part of our story of Sir George and the castle. But um, I must warn you, I think Sir George is going to end up in a little bit of trouble. Well, this video is dedicated to Otley All Saints, C of E Primary School's reception class. Now, you guys are doing a fantastic job with your learning. Keep up with it. Now, if your school would like a shout out or you have a topic that we can help you with, please get in touch with us as we'd love to support your school. Keep learning and we'll see you next time.